comes a working for my good Yeah, she's intentional Never failing out things I'm working, I'm working for my good Cause she's intentional and it's never failing All things are working for my good He's He's intentional
the God of the mountain Is still the God of the valley And there is no place Your mercy and grace Can find me again they said unto us, let us go into the house of the Lord. Good morning and welcome to Kick the Word Ministry where we preach and teach the Word of God chapter by chapter, verse by verse. Praise God. I'm excited this morning. I think the Lord has a powerful word for this morning. I just want to tell the Lord thank you. Thank you for another day, another day above ground, another opportunity to lift him up and to magnify his name. I don't take it for granted that I'm here this morning. I know I'm here because of his grace and his mercy. And I just want to tell the Lord thank you for another day, another day, another opportunity. In Jesus' holy and magnificent name. Let's get right into the word. I believe the Lord has a powerful word for this morning. Coming from Mark chapter 2, verse 1 through 12. Beginning with verse 1. And again he entered into Capernaum after some days. And it was noise that he was in the house. And straightway many was gathered together in so much that there was no room to receive them. No, not so much as about the door. And he preached the word unto them, and they came unto him, bringing one sick of the palsy, which was bored up four. When they could not come nigh unto him for the press, they uncovered the roof where he was. And when they had broken it up, they let down the bed wherein the sick of the palsy lay. When Jesus saw their faith, he said unto the sick of the palsy, Son, thou sin be forgiven thee. But there are certain of the strive sitting there and reasoning in their hearts. Why do this man thus speak blasphemer? Who can forgive sin but God only? And immediately when Jesus perceived in his spirit that they had also the reason within themselves, he said unto them, Why reason ye these things in your heart? What is easy to say to the sick of the puzzle? Thou sin be forgiven thee, or to say, Arise, take up thy bed, and walk. But that ye may know that the Son of Man has power on earth to forgive sin, he said unto the sick of the puzzle, I say unto thee, Arise, take up thy bed, and go thy way into thy house. 
And immediately he arose, took up the bed, went forth from before them all. And so mercy, they were all amazed and glorified God, saying, we never saw it on this fashion. Let us pray. Father God, we thank you for this hour. We thank you for another opportunity to break bread with your people. We don't take it for granted, God, that we're here this morning. And we know that with you, all things are possible, God. So we ask you now, God, to have your way. Have your way with me. Have your way with your listeners. And we are sure this morning the word falls on good ground. It will come up again. So let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be accepted in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. In the mighty name of Jesus and the body of believers said, Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. This morning, I'd like to talk to you from the subject, faith that you can see. Faith that you can see. Faith is often talked about, though you cannot see faith. Some may say, I have faith, and most people will take them at the word. The Bible tells us in Hebrew 11, 1, the Bible said, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. The beginning point of faith is believing in God, believing in his character. He is who he says he is. The end point is believing in God's promise that he will do what he said. When we believe that God will fulfill his promise, even though we cannot see those pr promises materialize, Yet we, we demonstrate true faith. Faith is seen by our work. James tells us in James 2 and 18, he said, he said Thou hast faith and I have work. Show me thy faith without thy works. And I will show thee my faith by my works. Paul tells us in Romans 3 and 28, We are made right with God through faith, not by obeying the law, but when you do a deeper study, it shows us that the teaching of James and Paul are, are not at odd. There, there's, there, there's, there's no contradiction there. While it is true, our, our good deeds can never save us. There's no salvation there. But true faith always results in, in a changed life and good deeds. Paul speaks against those who are trying to be saved by the deed instead of true faith. James speaks against those who confess mere intellectual absence with true faith. After all, even demons know that there's a God. They know that of Jesus, but they don't obey. True faith involves commitment of your whole self to God. You can see faith in your walk, and you can see it in your action with God. In our text, we see faith at work. We see a man where uh, it was reported in verse 1 that he, that he came home and he was in the house. Verse 1 said, and again he entered into Capernaum after some days and it was noise that he was in the house. And straightway many was gathered together in so much that there was no room to receive them. No, not so much as about the door. And he preached the word unto them. The presence of Jesus in his anointing was, was reported that Jesus was in the house. His power, his spirit was in the house. And we know where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty, there is freedom there. If you, your faith is in Jesus Christ, there will be freedom. There will be liberty there, praise God. Things that have that been having you bound, praise God. You will be, you will be broken up, praise God. You'll be able to move, praise God, freely in whatever God wants you to do this morning. Can we say hallelujah? Can we say glory to God? People feel the house. There was no room to receive them. So some was even in the, in the house was not of faith. They had no concern about faith and why they were there. They were just there curious. 
People are like that. It's always going to be some people around you that don't believe in what you're doing and don't even have no idea, but they just want to find out something that they can talk about, some place to go every now and then just to draw attention and to pat themselves on the back. Even though there was no room, you notice what Jesus did. The Bible said he preached the word unto them. If you don't have a packed house, preach the word. It, 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 the Bible said where two or three are gathered in his name that he is in the midst. It's not about number, but it's about the numbers that you can count on. Praise God. We often want to flock and see you I mean, preach and, and have a fun and have a lot to say when there's a lot of people around. But you got to preach the word whether or not it's one or two. You got to preach the word in season and out of season. Can we say hallelujah? Can we say glory to God? Your faith is seen by your work in verse 3 and 4. And they came unto him bringing one sick of the puzzle, which were bored of four. And when they could not come nigh unto him for the press, they uncovered the roof where he was. When they had broken it up, they let down the bed wherein the sick of the puzzle lay. These four men showed their faith. It was demonstrated by what they did. Their, their faith that you can see faith. Faith that you can see, praise God. The paralyzed man, he, he, he showed his faith by allowing the men to carry him, praise God. He believed that Jesus could help him. His faith came from within. And he, the paralyzed man believed that Jesus could help, praise God. He allowed himself to be carried. He was hopeful having heard about Jesus. It is a, it's important that we spread the word. It's important that we talk about it. It's important that we tell people about what the Lord has done for you. When you talk about Jesus, you begin to lift him up and, and people, it will draw people. Jesus said, if I be lifted up from the earth, I will draw people. Praise God unto me. Praise God. You have to be able to go out and witness for the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. This man was counted as a dear, very dear person, praise God, by the four men. This is shown by the extreme action they took to reach Jesus. The point here we turn to, the first thing you, 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 you see here in receiving help and forgiveness is to come to Jesus. A person must come to Jesus for forgiveness. Even if he has to be brought, praise God. Even if he has to be carried, praise God. Can we say hallelujah? Matthew 11, 28 said, Come unto me, all ye that labor and uh, heavy laden. And he said, I will give you rest, praise God. Jesus is waiting on you to come. Amen. Come now, he said, and let us reason together in Isaiah 1 and in 18, praise God. Let us reason together, said the Lord. Though your sin be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. They shall be red like crimson. They shall be as wool. It doesn't matter, my brothers and sisters, what condition you're in, physically or spiritually. Jesus said, come. He said, come now. God does not discriminate. There is no respect of person in Jesus Christ, praise God. We all have a right to come to the tree of life, praise God, if you just believe. This man and his full friend were, were sincere. They were serious about what they done. They believed God. They believed God could help them. They, they had faith that would not quit, praise God. They were determined, praise God, to get to Jesus. Their faith was seen in their action, praise God, hallelujah. We can see our faith this morning, praise God. We can see our faith in our action, what we do for the Lord. Our character will show up, praise God, that we have faith on the inside. We know who we're talking about. We know who we believe, praise God. He would say hallelujah, glory to his name. They, did, they could not come close to Jesus because of the crowd. They could not come through the front door. And they, they could not go through the window for the crowd was all around the windows and all around the house. Praise God. But that would not stop these four. Their mind was made up. Praise God. 
They believe if they could get to, to Jesus, their problem would be over. You remember the woman with the issue of blood, praise God? She said, if I just had to, that, that if I could just get to Jesus and touch the hem of his God, I would be made whole. I would be healed if I had to just press my way. I don't need to hug him. I don't need to jump on his neck. All I need to do is just touch the hem this morning, praise God. Give me a hallelujah. Give me a glory. Can you make contact this morning? Where is your faith this morning? Where are you focusing your faith? Is it on the Him, praise God, or is it just, just getting to Him this morning? Can we say hallelujah? Can we say glory to God? The, the men believe if they could get close to Jesus, He would make Him whole, praise God. The power to persevere in verse 4. When they come now unto unto him, they could not come now unto him for the press. They uncovered the roof where he was. And when they had broken it up, they let down the bed wherein the sick of the puzzle lay. They was determined not to give up. When you want something for the Lord, don't let nothing stop you. Don't let nothing separate you from getting your breakthrough, praise God. You keep pressing, you keep pressing and tearing and tearing until you get your breakthrough this morning, praise God. You must press on this morning, praise God. They went to the top and worked their way down. They had to work together. To get to Jesus, praise God. Anything you do in life is when people or decide to work together, praise God. There is power. There is unity, praise God. And there's strength, praise God, when we are on one accord, when we are walking together. How can two walk together unless they was agreeing? They work together, praise God. Give us a hallelujah. Their faith call for teamwork this morning, praise God. It's no big eye. And live you in teamwork, praise God. You have to be determined to be on one accord, to work together, to make sure you go and get what you went out to get this morning. Can we say hallelujah? Can we say glory to God? They used their imagination and God saw their faith. Verse 5, it says that when Jesus saw their faith, he said unto the sick of the puzzle, Son, thy sin be forgiven thee. Their faith was seen by Jesus. He could see their faith by their word. Not their talk, not their shout, not their waving their hand, not their standing up. But they see, he, he saw their faith by their word, praise God. They saw their faith by the being determined. They were determined to get to Jesus, praise God. Come and say Hallelujah. Jesus saw the faith, the faith of a man in himself and, and the faith of the fool that was, that, was, that was carrying him. Praise God. The faith of the friend played a large part in the man being healed and receiving from, get forgiveness from Jesus. When there are two or more people around you involved in seeking the Lord, you will see that it will cause your faith to, to increase. It will cause your faith to grow, praise God. Jesus said in Matthew 18 and 19, he said, I, say, I tell you this, if two of you agree on earth concerning anything you ask, my Father in heaven will do it for you. Two spirit-filled believers will pray according to the will of God. Not their own will. Their request will be granted because they are praying the will of God. Not their desire, but God, what do you want, God? Yes, I have a desire, but what do you want, God? We want the person to be healed. We want the person to be blessed. But God, not my will, but thy will be done. You have to have the same attitude that Jesus had in the Garden of Gethsemane, praise God. When he wanted to come out of that, 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 that bitterness that was getting ready to take place in his life, the separation he was going to have from his father. He said uh, he had prayed three times for this to go. And never, he said, in the end, nevertheless, not my will, Father, but thy will be done. Give us a hallelujah. Give us a glory to God. Jesus proclaimed forgiveness of this man's sin. 
He's claimed forgiveness of this man's sin because he saw the man's faith. Forgiving the man's sin was far more important than healing the man. A sound buyer assures you of life for only a few years at most. A sound soul assures you of life forever. You don't have to choose one when you can have both. The healing of the soul came first. Jesus said, your sin be forgiven. Even in the midst of this man's blessing, there was criticism. There was always critics. He said in verse 6 and 7, but there were certain of the strive sitting there and reasoning in their heart. Why do this man thou speak blasphemer? Who can forgive sin but God only? The religious critic of the law was sitting there. They were sitting in the right position. There will always be someone sitting around ready to, to complain about what you, how you handle things or what you said, praise God. When the strive heard Jesus, Forgive the man's sin. They immediately, immediately saw the, the point Jesus was making. They began to reason in their mind, in their heart, why did this man blaspheme? Who can forgive sin but God only? He is proclaiming himself to be God, the promised Messiah. If you're asking this question, the answer is emphatically yes, praise God. What he was saying is, is right, praise God. What they're saying was right. God. God is the only one that can forgive sin, praise God. Can we say hallelujah? Can we say glory to God? Jesus was saying, I am God in the flesh. I have the authority and power to say this. I have the part power and authority to, to that, that, that sin be forgiven this morning, praise God. Whatever you've done, whatever you're going through, whatever you've had, whatever downfall you had, Jesus said, I have the power this morning to forgive. All you have to do is be able to confess your fault, confess your fault, confess your sin, praise God. And he said he's faithful and just to forgive you of all unrighteousness. Jesus saw who was was. Jesus show who he really is. It's always we can talk about somebody, but your action and what you do shows you, shows your character this morning. In verse 8 and 11, he said, immediately when, when Jesus perceived in his spirit that they had so reasoned within themselves, he said unto them, why reason ye these things in your heart? Whether it is easy to say to the sick of the present, Thou sin be forgiven thee, or to say, Arise and take up thy bed and walk. But that ye may know that the Son of Man has power on earth to forgive sin, he said unto the sick of the present, I say unto thee this morning, praise God, Arise, take up thy bed, and go thy way into thine house. Before saying to the to the, to the paralyzed man to stand, to stand up, Jesus said, your sin are forgiven. Before you get out of your situation, before you get out of your problem, before you get out of the thing that you're going, before you get out of the thing that you thought was going, going to cause you to, to be uh, better than you are, Jesus said, don't stand up yet until your sin be forgiven. Kim is a hallelujah. To the Jew, this statement was blaspheming, claiming to be someone, something that only God could do. According to the law, the punishment for this sin was death. Jesus said, let me show you who I am. You may say my faith, but I want to show you that my faith can be seen, praise God, in what I do. Give me a hallelujah. Jesus revealed that he knew the human heart. He knew what they were thinking and their motive and their reasoning. I, I know the heart of man, Jesus said, and I don't need no one to tell me what's in, about man because I know them. Jesus revealed his godlike wisdom and fearlessness. He suggested to them to, to give him a test that was impossible to man. Can we say hallelujah? 
He said in verse, he said in verse nine, he said, he said, whether it is easy to say to the sick of the puzzle, thou sin be forgiven thee, or to say, arise and take up thy bed and walk. It was easy to say and incomparable to say that thou sin be forgiven. But because no one could, could say different, they could not tell whether or not, praise God, that his sin be forgiven. But he said, arise and take up thy bed and walk, praise God, hallelujah. There would be no doubt because they could see for themselves that Jesus had the power of God in him, praise God. He had the power not just to speak something, he had the power to show you, praise God, what he says to be true. Give me some hallelujah. It was easy for Jesus to say your sins were forgiven. No one could dispute that. No one would know, praise God, unless they, was, that they didn't believe that he was God. But he said it is easy to say that, but it's hard. It's impossible for somebody to tell that person physically, praise God, to get up from where they are. Stand up, praise God. Hallelujah. Glory in your problem this morning. Can we say hallelujah? Can we say glory to God? Jesus stated his purpose to prove that he is the son of man. He showed his deity that he was the son of God. Jesus proved his power to forgive sin. They will say that he must be able to forgive sin for the, he, he healed the man and caused the man to rise up, praise God, and walk. His power now is indisputable, praise God. There's no question that Jesus is who he said he is because he told him to rise, take it up, take up your issues, take up your problem, take up what's holding you back, take up what you've been trying to get out of for years, take it up this morning, praise God, and let God show you off this morning, praise God. Give us a hallelujah. Jesus said unto the man, sick of the puzzle, he said, arise and take up thy bed. Go thy way into thy house. His power is seen and not just heard. The faith of his power is seen in his work this morning. Can we say hallelujah? Can we say glory to God? Verse 12 of our text, he said, immediately he arose. He's talking about the paralyzed man. He took up the bed and went forth before them all and so much that they were all amazed. And glorify God saying we never saw it on this fashion. You never saw faith being emphasized here on this fashion before. The man took up his bed and went before them all. They saw Jesus' power and began to glorify God saying we never saw it like this before. We never saw this style. Faith that you can see. Jesus said, talk is cheap, but action speak louder than word. Faith that you can see real faith shows in your work. Work does not save you, but it shows who you are in the Lord. Praise God. You can see this kind of faith in your work by, by asking Jesus. You can have this just by asking Jesus to come into your life. Just ask him to come into your life and repent of your sin and believe in your heart that, that God has raised his son from the dead and he now sits on the right hand of the Father with all power in his hand. You can have this faith that you can see your action, your character will change, praise God, because the Bible says, being a man, being Christ, he's a new creature, he's a new creation, praise God. All things are passed away. Behold, all things this morning, praise God, become new. Him and say hallelujah. Faith that you can see. Praise God. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Father God, we thank you for this word. We pray now that those that are listening this morning and those that may see and hear this word, that their heart will be changed in a way that they will want to show their faith by their works. The action began to speak for them, not so much their lips, but their action. The way of life will speak for them. Their faith will be seen this morning, praise God. 
God, we pray, God, for those that are going through this morning that can't do for themselves, God. You will give them the strength to tell them to rise up. Take up their bed, whatever they are in this morning. And move above it. Have that breakthrough this morning. God, we give you the praise. We give you the glory in your son Jesus' name. In the body of a believer this morning, say amen. Praise God. This word has been a blessing to you this morning. If you've been blessed by this word, praise God. And God is speaking to your heart, praise God. Let us know. Send us a text. Let us know that God is working in your life and have worked in your life even before the day, praise God. Let somebody know what the Lord has done for you this morning, praise God. And if you want to be a blessing to Kingdom Word Ministry, praise God, hallelujah. Let's text Kingdom Word to 22525. And remember, Jesus Christ is Lord of Lord and King of King. And have a happy